Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in Instagram stories. In this tutorial, oh, sorry about that. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the new effects gallery in Instagram stories. So you can do cool effects like this, or this, or this. If you look next to the shutter button, you're gonna see a whole bunch of effects that you can scroll through one by one. As you select an effect, you'll see the name appear temporarily at the top. You'll also see the name of the effect at the very bottom, so you'll always know which effect you're currently using. Some of the effects have different variations. You will see those appear above the effects, and you can just tap on those to see the different effects. If you ever wanna get out of the effects, you can click on the little X above the effect, or you just scroll back to the very beginning, and that will reset everything. So you may be thinking that these effects and filters are pretty cool and will keep you busy for a while. Well, this is only scratching the surface. There is an entire new effects gallery. To access the new Instagram effects gallery, if you scroll to the very end, you will see a magnifying glass. And if you look below, it says browse effects. Tap on the magnifying glass and that will take you into the new Instagram effects gallery made with all augmented reality filters. You can also access the effect gallery. If you look below the name of the effect, you will see a little drop down arrow. Tap on that. You will see browse effects and that will take you in that same effect gallery. You can browse to all the effects in the effect gallery. Just tap on one to get a preview. You can also swipe to each effect by swiping to the right or swiping to the left. Click on the X in the top right corner that'll take you back to the main screen. If you look at the very top of the effect gallery, you'll see a bunch of categories. Tap on any category to view all the effects for each category. Tap on any effect, you will get a preview. Hey there. If you decide you want to use that I'm filter, just simply tap on the try it button. Now you will be in your Instagram stories where you can use that filter. And if you look down below, you will see all of the filters for that category. Pretty cool. So I am currently in the funny category. Maybe you could tell. And now you can record an Instagram stories just like you could, only you can add some cool effects. You can use the markup tools and you can X out of this if you want to go back to those effects. You to access the effect gallery in Instagram stories, you can scroll all the way to the end of the effects and you'll see a magnifying glass. Tap on the magnifying glass that will take you into the effect gallery. The other way to do it while you're on an effect, just look at the very bottom, you will see the name of the effect and there's a little drop down. Just tap on that and tap on browse effects. At the very top, you'll see a bunch of categories. Just tap on a category to view all the effects for each category. Tap on any for a preview. If you decide you want to use it, tap on the try it button in the bottom left corner. And when you decide you want to use one, just press and hold on the shutter button. My name is Mike Murphy, and that is the effect gallery in Instagram stories. Cheers.